We're going to install an EMP shield in the uh, box coming straight off the pole and that's what the diagram looks like. That's how we're going to be installing this guy and um, the paperwork has all different ideas over here and so it's going to be installed on this pole outside. Let me zoom out here. We install on this pole outside inside this panel. So we're going to open this guy up and mount him inside in the back behind this panel. Loosen that screw. You'll also notice in this main panel on the pole that ground and neutral are tied together at this point over here. There's the ground wire coming up and ground and neutral are bonded right at this point and then fed into the house. Which means that we can use ground and neutral synonymously on the side over here together on the, on the edge over here and we're going to find a double pole breaker where we can put this, um, this guy onto. So what I'm going to do in this case, you could do a few things. You could put a double pole breaker over there, another double pole breaker and connect this, uh, these wires into that. But um, I'm not going to make another knockout here. So I've already got these two breakers, they're each on two different phases. So I'm going to just shut them off. We just feed my, they just feed my GFI over here, out over here. And I'm going to wire my hot one, hot two in there. My neutral and ground onto that bus power over there. And then I'm done. So we're all wired in. Our hot one, hot two, even our two breakers. And um, our neutral and ground bonded together on the same bar. Now, people can say, well, it's a 20 amp breaker. What's that going to do for an EMP? A lot, because this 20 amp breaker is rated at 10 kilo amps, right? 10,000 amps surge it can handle. So uh, an EMP comes down through the power line over there. Here's the transformer up there. Well, get around it. It's the transformer up there. Oops. Um, 7.2 kV, but if that is hit by lightning or an EMP or whatever, this little guy is going to stop that energy right here. And even though you might say these are skinny wires, remember the surge handling capacity is huge. Only going to be for a split second, all right? And so we can turn this on right now. We didn't have to shut our power off. And we can see the LEDs now are lighting up, showing L1. And this one's also illuminated, but it's not showing on the camera. There, L1 and L2, all illuminated. And we're done. That's it. We didn't even turn the power off to the house in this case. Uh, we might have had to if we put a double pole breaker on there. But um, easy peasy. Close that up, and we're good to go. All right, the chickens are making eggs like crazy over here. But... Um, the reason why we put it outside on the pole and not inside is because the ground, here's the ground right here, and it's going to the ground stake uh, right here by the pole, okay? So here's the ground rod right there. So if we had to put it in the house, the power would have to go all the way into the house if there was a surge, all the way through the house and then around back through the ground bar, back outside and down, down again. So we want to avoid as much of that path as possible. So we want to put the EMP shield as close to the ground conductor as possible. And that's it.